Live from the CNN News 18 and Federal Bank Primetime Studios. First up, ladies and gentlemen, according to the provisional payroll data released by the Labor Ministry, the Employment Provident Fund organization or the EPFO net added 1.89 million members just in the month of April, an increase of 31.29% from the previous month. And the data showed that 887,000 new members, including 249,000 women, joining the EPFO during the month. Uh, a report by Motilal Oswal, meanwhile, Financial Services, they have highlighted that India's jewellery retail sector has surged to $80 billion, that is rupees 6 lakh 66,480 crore in the financial year 2024 from $50 billion in 2018. The, the report also highlights that rising disposable income and improving mix for regular wear of jewellery enhanced product offerings led to rapid growth in the industry. Meanwhile, Tajikistan is set to implement a ban on hijab and other Islamic garments. Apart from the hijab, the bill also uh, cites or aims to ban, and it has gone ahead and banned. This has been ratified by both houses in Tajikistan parliament. Children's celebrations during Muslim festivals and the bill passed by the upper house prohibits children's festivities during Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. The bill initially passed by the lower chamber aims to curb the wearing of what it terms alien garments. The focus is that they are encouraging people to wear Tajik clothing, Tajik culture and go back to those roots and embrace that. There is a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, angst because of that, especially in Afghanistan with some of the fundamentalist groups even openly declaring jihad against Tajikistan. But Tajik people have decided they want to hold down to their culture and they want to ban anything that they claim are alien to their culture. Let's get back to the issue on hand, ladies and gentlemen. The NEET exam and the UGC NET exam, both of them have exposed perhaps what is an underlying problem in the testing system in our country. But there are other testing formats which are far more robust. So can there be learnings? And how are we going to secure this batch of 24 lakh NEET and 13 lakh UGC NET students in the course of the next 30 to 45 days before we get into the counselling and some of the other stages because after which it will be too late. Can something be done and how best can a robust foolproof testing mechanism be put in place? That's the thought process and that's the endeavour on this edition of The Right Stand. <laughs> सरकार विश्वास जनवाना चाहती है कि हम कोई भी गड़बड़ी को टॉलरेट नहीं करें। आउजी ने यही तो कहा, तीन बड़े मुख्य केंद्र हैं, घोटाले के, शिक्षा घोटाले के, उत्तर प्रदेश, मध्य प्रदेश और गुजरात तीनों बीजेपी शासित राज्य हैं। राज्य में सरकार उनकी, केंद्र में सरकार उनकी, जांच एजेंसियां उनकी, हम ही कहते हैं मुख्यमंत्री जी को बुला ले मेरे साइकिल, अरे चाहे पीए हो, पीएस हो, कोई हो, बुला करके पूछताछ कर ले। Ladies and gentlemen, this is a serious matter and we hope there is something constructive that comes out of the minds that are joining us this evening. A lot of aspiring students' dreams came crashing down when NEET and the UGC NET exams were exposed and the scams within. Their hearts broken, their hopes shattered and faith in testing agency only diminishing the futures of lakhs of students. 3.7 million students, both exams put together, is at stake. Now, while a retest for over 1,500 students who received grace marks will be conducted on the 23rd, nearly 9 lakh candidates who appeared for the UGC NET exam are still clueless of what happens next. The National Testing Agency, which is in charge of conducting competitive entrance tests, is under the scanner. It's functioning. Its entire model itself is being questioned. And the Education Minister Dharmendra Pradhan has ensured action. A high-powered committee will sit and there will be a thorough cleanup. But setting politics aside, let's try and understand what next for students? How do we secure the careers and the lives of the future of Bharat? Is there a possible solution to ensure that there are leak-proof exams? 
चारु प्रज्ञा नेशनल स्पोक्स पर्सन ऑफ द बीजेपी विद अस घनश्याम तिवारी स्पोक्स पर्सन ऑफ समाजवादी पार्टी विद अस ही शुड बी जॉइनिंग अस ही इज एन एजुकेशनिस्ट हिमसेल्फ मोहनदास पाय टीवी मोहनदास पाय इज विद अस चेयरमैन आर एन कैपिटल अगेन एन एजुकेशनिस्ट प्रोफेसर बद्री नारायण सोशल साइंटिस्ट विद अस एंड वी आल्सो हैव विवेक ठाकुर हु जॉइंस अस अगेन इज द फाउंडर ऑफ स्कॉलर्स डेन नमस्ते एंड जय हिंद टू एवरीबॉडी मोहनदास पाय जी हाउ कैन वी सॉल्व दिस बिकॉज़ इन आवर कंट्री for many decades there are leak proof exams which have not been associated with paper leaks cat comes to mind upsc exams come to mind how can we set this process of neat and ugc net right well first we have to solve the issue as far as neat is concerned all those people who got grace mark they must have a re exam i think it's already happened they must use data analytics to find out in which center the marks and the passes have been more than any prior period are more than normal and identify those areas maybe for those places they must have a re exam they must carry on the you know counseling because supreme court has not stopped the counseling we can't stop the career hold the retest for all these people in the meantime uh, under strict uh, supervision to make sure they complete this and make sure that the admission process goes on Uh, because they have found they said that certain papers have been leaked in the dark web and are available on telegram uh, that means they know who has done that they must trace it and uh, arrest all those people immediately to restore public confidence by this i think about 98 99% of the uh, you know, right things to be done and now as far as the other examination i think they they call it off so they have to have a re exam as early as possible and apologize to the people hmm. uh, because you know the problem in this country is very large number of students sit for exams for which we don't have enough seats in very many colleges we must expand capacity the kakotar committee for iit has said we need 100 institution like iit for high quality engineering in the public sector and 100 in the private sector separately we need so that you know more students have more choices so i think is a mess they must investigate and as far as full proofing it they must sit down and work out a technology solution which will make sure so that the final question paper is not known to people for till a limited period before the exams actually happen they must use technology for this purpose i think it can be done and it must be done in a manner which is very very secure and it must be done in a manner where there is proper oversight and proper uh, you know understanding of what is happening uh, by using the latest technology and i'm sure they can do it but like you said it will be held complete exam for a large number of years So hmm. this obviously shows the criminal element. Deliberately, some insiders have got in, and criminal elements have been allowed to come. And uh, that's why background checks with people, little bit of more surveillance on the people who are involved in very critical functions, have to be done. Uh, please remember, among corporates, a certain class of people cannot trade in shares in a quiet period. So they've done okay. something there. Here, we must make sure that the things are restricted. Remember, in the union budget. Mm. Uh, the people who make the budget and policy are locked in, right? Yeah. After the vice session, like we must do something like this to make sure that we can prevent all this. I think more care should be taken. They were probably complacent. Mm. See, because uh, you know they say you can't clap with one hand. So on the yes. on, on if there are corrupt officials and if in there center. are corrupt uh, so, you know centers, coaching centers, etc., who have taken money or who have said that we will make this available and there is a network there. there is a yeah. slew of parents who have agreed to pay and cough up lakhs of money yes. to ensure yes. that their children have a uh, have an unfair advantage over other children yes. who have worked hard yes. uh, and yes. to secure and there are yes. parents who are willing to pay lakhs and lakhs of money just just Absolutely. for their kids so, so that's also reflective yes. of where how society is willing to corrupt a system rather yes. than correct their own wards so yes. that that's a larger that's a larger aspect but how do i, I make sure how do i make sure that the entire examining process testing process itself is a deterrent to corruption and to graft mon das pai that that that's the answer that we need to first get because a high powered committee has been announced yesterday when will it be yeah, formed but we must but we must solve this issue first and carry on the counseling and not make the students suffer that is the first time priority remedying it and punishing others can take time but you know we must solve this by giving a retest removing all the elements to got an unfair advantage to show people that we are not going to correct but you it. cannot how do i conduct the counseling till i'm sure about the marks if i no, start with the counseling can, process then they'll say no, they this can, year counseling has happened let's look no, at it next no, year no 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 they can leave counseling and counseling and hmm. put it into database and do not announce what has happened so all the thing is there they can take some try to release it later 
it has to be done simultaneously i understand what he is saying mm. it's difficult because you can counsel ask the student for the choice make some tentative allotment and uh, it will be a marginal change because remember you see there are some uh, 24 lakh students right yeah they may be 20 3 lakh 4 lakh 5 lakh seats i don't know how many seats there are 1500 students who got this grace marks there may be another 1000 2000 more i don't think the corruption has happened on a mass scale see wh- 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 business- what i'm saying is let's say th- let's take a whatever number be it 40000 or 4 lakh out of these 24 lakh if there is clearly with an electronic system and i'm let me get vivek thakur in also and just open this up and everybody please join in vivek if there are say about 10 15 centers where there is rji baji if there are say 40000 to about say 4 lakh whatever is the number they should will have an exact number where you know that either with the level of grace marks or proxy uh, you know examinees and uh, paper leaks there will be a set number can that not be identified can counseling not be delayed by about 10 15 days no. and do the entire process of this retest for all this number come clean with the numbers sometimes honesty pays you know what do you suggest how can we do this see the basic principle of justice that is there in our constitution it hmm. says that even if uh, 10 guilty people are roaming free the people who are innocent should not be punished hmm. and in this case there are thousands of students who are innocent they didn't know of this all the nexus and all this mafia who are playing this wrong mm. game and people in power and people having a lot of money trying to get their kids inside mm. through a window through a back door through a jugaad into the system and getting them become doctors mbbs from government colleges now the solution lies here that in during covid time mm. why nt is playing this game time and again why there is an a systematic way of doing an eye wash of the government hmm. as well as the public in general by nta just take the case of covid time the exam which was scheduled need exam was scheduled for may it actually happened in september and there was no chaos even hmm. after 6 months delay okay. and they are every time playing this uh, logic and going to supreme court and everywhere even to the government and saying see if the counseling is gets delayed the entire academic calendar will be affected so and so and blah blah it is actually an eye wash just take the example of covid the exams were delayed 6 months you are telling about counseling the exams were delayed 6 months and everything became normal in two sessions yeah. you are ready to do so much of injustice because of nothing i mean uh, it's meaningless you are saying this uh, if we are delayed by 15 days something will happen nothing happened during covid you, you know charu pragya is there with us and badri narayan there with us charu ji you know i was talking to vikas uh, vivek by your pardon just before we went on air he said something very interesting yeah. he said that politicians beat opposition or government beat in bihar in the center and all are waking up now they are waking up on after the 14th 15th of june but he saying he had evidence that neat there was some aji baji as early as the 4th of may 5th of may was the 5th exam of may, yes 5th was the telegram exam. video yes 5th was the exam you, you have some yes i have the video you you have so he saying that he has evidence that in bihar there were claims that this yeah please explain it to our viewers yeah uh, similar to the ugc net case that the government said the since the paper was leaked on telegram so what i am claiming is that i am not sure whether it is authentic or not it is for the government to investigate in this video is with thousand of students it's with me wherein on a telegram channel the person is claiming that see this is the need paper and the chat is dated 4th of may I'm again I'm saying I'm not taking the authenticity because the government has forensic experts the government has cyber experts to get it verified so on the similar ground that UGC net was con- cancelled the similar ground is there also hmm. and that person was claiming see only my students will top the, in exam this year neat and I have the paper of neat and you'll see his claim was that you see this year the cut off will go really high and it will go as far as 66650 which has never happened in the history and it actually became 650 so these things are there with the students why not why not investigate it thoroughly rather than giving a clean sheet to nta without investigation that unfortunately yeah. our respected education minister did he gave clean sheet to nda without any investigation without any ev- thorough investigation yeah. the clean sheet was given 4 days before what happened last evening yesterday nta officials have been pulled up and everybody is under scrutiny okay. now but this is what it is 4th of may this has done the rounds but nothing was done to flag it off we are now sitting on the 21st of june Uh, Anand ji, just one Haan minute. Ji. I would like yeah, to sure. add, even the uh, yeah. this so confession I... of Anurag Yadav, mm-hmm. which Haan. is doing rounds on social media and news channels uh, since yesterday, the confession letter is dated 5th of May. The FIR is dated 5th of May. Where were all these people, Rahul Gandhi and uh, Vijay Sinha, and all these people were sleeping? 
since 5th may 45 days has passed nobody woke up okay. yeah charu pragya so this anurag yadav testimony is saying the letter Can is dated 5th of now? may haan ji please thank you for your patience go ahead please no problem anand good evening and let me begin by first thanking you for uh, taking a problem solving approach to this entire problem and uh, really nobody has done that and this is not a time for political mudslinging let's go back to why the cut off has become higher this year why the syllabus has been changed for neat if we look at the last couple of years every time we have discussed neat unfortunately the discussion has been around student suicides because neat was an exam which was considered very difficult quite impossible to crack in most cases without help from coaching centers coaching centers have run some kind of a nexus they are the ones who can claim that my students are going to get uh, you know xyz marks or they are going to make the cut so on and so forth now this is exactly why the government of india decided to change the syllabus of neat this is why government of india said that neat syllabus is now going to be the syllabus of 10th standard 12th standard so everybody starts from the same platform and everybody can be given similar opportunities yes 33 lakh approximately students are contesting for um, 1 lakh seats in our country but let's also not forget that these 1 lakh seats have also been created under modi government we have made 350 new medical colleges there has been an addition of 390 universities so what was happening before this era that is problematic yes we need a lot more seats whether it is for engineering whether it is for medicine whether it is for any other technical courses but can we do it overnight i don't think so um let's now also understand another thing that has been going on a mm. uh, nexus exists we've already established that but i have never seen before a government taking complete responsibility and onus for something going wrong within their own system within their own department in fact our government has ordered a cbi probe into the ugc uh, net uh, 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 exam which has been cancelled they have said that whoever is the culprit they will be identified and heads will roll because we take the future of our students very very seriously anybody who heard the press conference of dharmendra pradhan ji our honorable education minister yesterday would have seen how patient recently he has answered every single question from every journalist and reporter who was present there there was uh, no uh, behavior that the opposition is known to do and call those who are asking negative questions as agents of another political party that's important now here again links have been found pritam yadav is linked to tejasvi yadav who belatedly now is saying oh investigate do what you want but um, are they actually allowing it to happen today rahul gandhi is happy to meet these students but is he meeting students or is he creating more trouble when enough trouble exists already can we go back to the time of congress in rajasthan when under the gehlot government 14 paper leaks had happened and sachin pilot actually had to protest against his own government against these paper leaks i didn't see congress saying anything then most recently because uh, the new government of congress is in telangana the tpsc paper leak happened who discussed the tpsc paper leak please tell me that today to politicize an issue you are speaking everywhere but where were you when all of this was happening see we were not being political then we are not being political now and uh, we in fact passed a law in uh, just february this year which is uh, going to come into force very shortly and this law is going to go a long way in ensuring all these leaks are plugged in ensuring what you have been discussing that can we ensure an examination process that is smooth can we make sure that this See, kind of a nexus doesn't exist can we make sure paper leak just does not happen so you you made a lot of points in some of the cases yes credit must be given where it is due where the minister was very open forthcoming when he spoke <coughs> yesterday but 4 days ago his tone and tenor was very different and a lot of people are asking that this has been i'm just i'm just i'm, I'm just i'm just making i'm just and I'm, i know even one center going wrong is one center too much but i also want to give a perspective on the numbers 4550 centers is where the examination took place there were incidents in some of them eight to be exact does that mean that the students at all the other centers need to write the exam again prepare again you know it's this very arbitrary kind of a discussion Correct, saying let's uh, no, here, get here, done here, with this no, exam no here is a, here let's is the issue chart 
Now those kind of things the Supreme Court is going to decide. Correct. But that's that's my concern, ma'am. That's where the concern arises. That rather than waiting for the courts to come back and cancel appointments, cancel counselling, cancel the entire exam process and ask for an entire process which is going to derail and delay everything into September, October, November, maybe even December. And that puts so many things in limbo. Mm. If the government is getting proactive, let it get proactive and at a at a certain alacrity where it says, and that's the suggestion, where but it says, I delay the counselling by 15 days. Can I be in the next 10 advocate? days, we'll get to the bottom of it. Yeah. And if there is an error margin of even 10%, if there is an error margin of 10%, then the entire people, lot of 24 lakh people should get to write the exam again. If the error margin is within within 5% or less than 10%, whatever the number, let's declare the number, identify the centers mm -hmm. and all those who had that center and that ID card, we will conduct the tests again so that there is fair and square. If 67 people have got 720, right. we should but give them the option of writing that again yeah. to prove that they are actually meritorious and there is no ajibaji. That's also another suggestion. Vikas, yeah. Vivek, Vivek, and then Ganshap Tiwari is with us. Charuji, you will respond. Can I please, quickly yeah, yeah. add something? Please, please, please respond Saraji, after Vivek. One minute. Please respond after Vivek. Charuji, with, uh, with due respect okay. Okay. to you Sorry. being a uh, spokesperson of the ruling party, I would say that I am a teacher. It's my duty to show path to students as well as to society and if required, even to the government. I am just doing my duty. You should not point fingers to the people who are pointing fingers at the government, who are actually trying to help the government to correct the system. And we are there to help you in every technical issue. Please do not point fingers at us that we are from coaching centers, we have nexus. We are the people who actually brought it to the light. The day the result was declared on 4th June, the whole country, all media, everyone was busy with the government results. And we are shouting since then. It's only for far for last four or five days days that the political dispensation has come into the picture, number one. Number two, regarding the six, seven centres you are saying, do you know that this six, seven centres like Jajja in Haryana, Patna, Godhra, these cases were not declared, the data was not declared by the NTA. It is we people and the students who found out through the NTA information given in the press releases and the result, we found out the similarities, we did a lot of data analysis. Nothing was released by NTA. So that's why to make things clear, it's not like six, seven centers are there problematic. You should release actually the data of all centers. I'm not saying that you release a name and the numbers. You just show the distribution of all the centers in the country, number one. Number two, you, sh you release the data in public regarding the uh, board marks and the neat marks of the students for last three years. You will very clearly, there are so many high level data scientists and Mohandas Pai uh, sir is with us. Uh, he knows that we are we are technological superpower. We have so many data scientists who will analyze in 24 hours and give it to you that there is no correlation 2024. In respect to the board exam marks and NEET marks this year, there is a huge gap. Students scoring 35%, 40% in board marks are suddenly scoring 700, which was not there in 2023, 2022. You put the entire data in public domain to clear the doubts. So there Why is are you a, trying to yeah, save yourself? Because there are cases where people have changed their changed their uh, exam centers, centers yes. exam centers from Delhi to Jajjar. People have fl uh, flown from Karnataka to Jajjar and to Godhra to write exams. So clearly there are anomalies which are there. Yes, Mondas Pai and then Badri Narayan and Charu Pragya. Yeah, coming to you. Everybody, yeah. One let, us, let us discuss solutions and how to make sure students are not hurt, like the professor said. I think it's very important. Data analysts can find out cases and centers where there are anomalies. They can dig in deeply in 24 hours, 48 hours and ask them for a re-exam. Because, you know, like he said, there has to be a correlation between class 12 and the marks they get here. If there's a wide variance, it's obvious that something is wrong and uh, they cannot be given, uh, you know, the, they cannot be given any, uh, any, any lenience. So mm -hmm. I think it should be done. Let's not discuss politics here. I mean, I understand the lady is, uh, you know, is coming from a political party, but, you know, we should not degenerate into political debate. The debate today is how do you make sure students get justice? The future is not spoiled. How do you make sure that the uh, people who committed yeah. this fraud get punished? How do you make sure nobody gets an unfair advantage? Correct. Now the solution is very clear. Like mm -hmm. the professor said, do data analytics, find out those centers and ask them to take a retest. That I think we should do. The great mass of people have not done any hirapari. It's happened in a few places and that places can be located. Those people there have to be investigated and punished. And those students have to take everything. It has been as fast as possible and confidence has right. to be restored. 
whether some political party talks about it, the party, let us keep it aside for now, because for us, 24 lakh students' future has to be secured. We must not spoil their dreams, we must not hurt them. That is the focus that has to no, be for I, the country. See, along with the, along with the 24 lakh students, you need to have a robust system in place where anybody and everybody can, tra ca can, yeah, can, can trust this system to ensure that it is foolproof. Yes. Badri Narayanji, yeah, Badri yeah, Narayanji, then, then I'll come back to Charu Pragyan uh, Ghanshan. Yeah. Thank, thank you for your patience. Uh, thank you for inviting me in this discussion. Actually, uh, there are every problem has a social context. And you have already uh, raised that point very recently that how the dexterous of the corruptions, the greed, uh, the aspirations, uh, illegal kind of aspirations works in, and try to enter in every kind of food proof system like NTA. No? NTA is the came to counter all the paper leak uh, which were happening in various states. But here also they have eaten. And, and that's a very uh, question of very, it's a, it's a very, uh, it's a situation in which we have to respond. Hmm. And there is another point, if uh, any justice should not come to create injustice for others. So everywhere, uh, there should be a balance. So if we are going to do that justice for someone, it should not be injustice for others. So government has to be very cautious and see the entire fact and, and, and the processes and mm -hmm. then take decisions. There are two ways. One is immediate uh, solution of the problem and other is a long-term solution of the problem. For the immediate solution of the problem, you have already uh, seen today, that um, uh, HRD minister, education uh, minister Dhan Pradhanji has called the, the ADG of the Bihar uh, Economic uh, Offense Unit, has mm -hmm. and tomorrow, they, I think on 25th, there is a meeting, and he is going to see each and every document which, which has, they have uh, retrieved, and then the uh, government will take a uh, decision. Yes, there is a news uh, uh, today. And there is also a very, uh, I think, uh, he told, uh, study his press conference, he told by, by so through his heart and with a plan, not only your heart, with a plan that we are going to uh, to evaluate the entire entry system and the big high power committee is going to work for that for a long term solution hmm. to make a foolproof system for public examination. Yeah. Already we have a, we have a public examination act and we have to give a strong punishment to these people who are uh, and I think public examination act. Here, here, here is my here so is my hope on that. Um, here, here is my concern, sir. This high-powered committee has to work on a clock. It cannot work at its pace. It has to yes. work at the pace of the students' careers and the and the timelines with respect to counselling, placement, and and the uh, the course uh, you know beginning of the courses at the medical colleges along with the admission process. That's why yeah. the, the that there has to be a certain alacrity. What yeah. Mr. Pradhan, and it is very, very appreciable of the education minister, what he did yesterday. But what he did yesterday should have been done on the 16th. And already four and days have lost, have been lost in course correction. That's my point, sir. That's where, that's where many others are saying not four days, more than a month has been lost because this Aji Baji pehle se chal raha tha. And the complaints against the NTA is not this year in 2024. It's been going on since 2020. Post COVID, there have been issues with the NTA. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. Every other litigation I mean, uh, regarding NTA yeah. in Supreme Court. I yes. Mean, I want to say one thing. Ganjam Diwari uh, coming to you after this. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I, want, I would like to, uh, to tell but the question which is by you uh, to Charu and Charu from this point that uh, uh, education minister, before four days, he was talking differently. Uh, I remember. From the very first day, he told, let the Pukta uh, proof come. We are going to take action. And I think uh, he is now at the level where he is going to take action. Uh, I, I various times. Badriji, he has say, started say, taking I, action. Like I said, sir, we are we are not holding a. The only brief that we are holding is for a robust examination system, so that our children go to into a foolproof center where parents who want to pay through their way and try and get a backdoor entry for their kids are dissuaded. It's merit that talks, hard work that 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 produces the results. And let there be a fair and square. So no matter who, what, how much anybody scores, there are no doubts raised. When teachers themselves are saying, Tumhare paas itne number kaisa hai, it's impossible. There are teachers from coaching students who are saying, it is impossible for you to get these numbers. So that yes. means there is something wrong. It is impossible for this score to even come because mathematically it is not possible in, in, the, in the entire scoring system of NEET. Obviously, some bell should ring. The day on 16th, and I keep saying, when Mr. Pradhan said that uh, this, at that time, the Economic Offences Unit in Bihar had already found the leak, and they had said that the NTA is actually stonewalling responses. It is not responding to queries raised by the Economic Offences Unit of Bihar. That, that's why I'm saying, the politics of it aside, 
the entire construct of it and how it's being conducted is a problem. And Gansham Tiwari, thank you for your patience. You joined us a little late, but yes, as an educationist, is there a method? And what we're trying to look at is who's at fault, who's not at fault is one aspect. How can we put together a system which is incorruptible? Is it possible to have a testing mechanism for 24 lakh or plus aspirants across more than 4,000 centers, which is foolproof? Guru, I run to you, the US and fellow co-panelists. 35 lakh students are affected between NEET yeah, and NEET. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Let us not give, this panel cannot give an award to Dharmendra Pradhan, the education minister. The, the kind of award this panel wants to give does not belong in this scenario. Hmm. There's a crisis. Hmm. This government has not stood up with the students. In, on day one when the NEET exam happened, the students complained that there's a leak. Hmm. They complained from Patna. Investigation started. Hmm. How did this government react after the leak? Stop giving awards and look at the newspaper. Mr. Pradhan was made in charge of Haryana elections hmm. in the middle of this, this time frame. Have anybody, has any student stood up and had asked any question to Mr. Pradhan? Has you, have you seen him answering questions to students? Mm -hmm. Has he taken responsibility? Yeah, he did. You yesterday. Want make, he took you, responsibility you yesterday. But he didn't do it, he didn't do it before. Did not, no, he didn't do it before. Not, I did not interrupt anybody. Yeah, yeah. If Mr. Mohandas Pai, Mr. Badri Narayan wants to give him an award, please give him an award. Hmm. But Look, 24 lakh awards. students of, of the country nonsense. don't okay. want nobody to give him an award. award. They, they no, nobody is giving. Okay, one. Minute. And this education. This one, one minute. Let him. Let him speak. Let him speak. I just want to say I that nobody is giving. Anybody. Nobody is giving this, anybody this, any awards or accolades here. Yeah. Yes. Of, of continuous cheer leading of, of the education minister who is inept, who has shown no leadership, whose government is at fault, whose prime minister goes and, and does a, a media event called Pariksha Pe Charcha, but does not have a courage to, to speak to students and does not even admit when the students are complaining. There are simple rules that, simple methods that are available from, from data analytics to the way the exam can be conducted. There is no way 85,000 students can score above 650 marks in this exam. Hmm. That is obvious. But this government has no solutions. It has not asked a solution. Okay, Le Mr. let Mr. me Mohan ask you this. For 10 years, allow me to work okay. one final point. Okay. Mr. Can Mohan Das Pai, for 10 years, 20 Te years... Tell me what can be done. Kanchan Tiwari, I want to understand uh, what can be done as a... Yeah, 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 yeah. For, for 10 years or 20 years, Mr. Mohan Das Pai, on all kinds of issues, can bat for this government. Okay, but has this government asked any, any suggestion from him? Has it asked any suggestion from you, Anand? Look, look, no. Talk so, no, no, no. That's, that's, not, that's, not that's not the talking point right now. I want to ask from you because you are an educationist like Vivek, Vivek Thakur. Be, uh, irrespective of what your political thought process is, so I want to understand what can be done. Yeah. No, no, the is the government listening? Is, is the government listening to Vivek Thakur? Is government listening to Badri Narayan? Uh, no, I am asking you, Gansham Diyari, what can be done? Tell me what should be done. How can we have a, can we, is it possible to have a robust exam, exam testing system? What can be done? Should NEET become, come directly under government control rather than it being an independent agency? How do we, how do we do that? Is it possible? There are three simple, there are three yeah. simple things. It's not about, about making NTA and a scapegoat. Hmm. There are three simple things that this government can do. Right now, use data analytics to find out anomalies between the scores that students scored right. and their past performances. And if yeah. there is variance, at least for the students who have scored above 500 marks, you can have a, a exam that proves that variance is legitimate or not. Correct. That's a very yeah. simple thing. This government, if they applied mind, they would have done it. Done. But they did not apply mind. Second, okay. there is no way on earth that an exam like this can be con conducted for 24 lakh students. You have to break the exam in multiple parts. There is no way if you expect 24 lakh students across 5,000 centers, 4,500 centers to show up in an appointed hour and nothing will go wrong. So, so you One are saying the there has to be multiple sets of papers and it has to be done in batches just like uh, so uh, in terms of phases. The, the, yeah. you, have to, you have to break it in an exam where roughly uh, 12 lakh students score be, be, below 150 marks. And yeah. 80,000 students score at 98, 99 percentile. There is a fundamental difference in the nature of student. You have had this formula with the uh, JEE exam. It is easily applicable. In the day Correct. of Got AI, it. you don't, you can go from grading to score Fair rather point. than score to score. There are mo models. But let me tell point. you, Manan, and the this third, third is arrogant, point, it is, it, it, no, the third point you made a third that. point. There's, there's, what's the third point? Yes, the the third point is that when you have a center level leak. Hmm. When you have a center level leak, you have to apply the same framework that you see in one pattern. This is just a, a case of pattern matching. Correct. You look at the centers that have that have these 
uh, irregular patterns and you match it to centers that uh, other centers what uh, mr thakur is saying and then identify but, uh, which are the which are the centers where there are anomalies and then isolate those centers and then look at the students there and what's happening there to 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 take uh, to make correct fantastic suggestions why has this yeah. not been done is a question that is a valid question charu pragya i have to wind up but quickly i'll give you 30 seconds yes please so um, at least ghansham came back to solutions at the end of the debate but before that you know this attack which is coming towards the government i again say it is unfair because what dharmen pradhan ji said was said in absolute good faith and after that he has taken complete responsibility tell me ghansham yes. when has your government ever taken any Let, responsibility let's steer clear of that today please I, i'm i'm in just fact, very humbly that. I, I am so, humbly. No, I am no. humbly. I know. I know. I know. I'm, there is there I'm, is a dharma coming, and a response. I am coming back yeah. to yes, more data. And Anand, as political spokesperson, no, that you have back, to have. I'm but I am requesting both of you to please steer clear of that today. Now yeah, there is you. a lot of conversation around grace marks. There hmm. is a lot of conversation around great grace marks, and that is why the final score of students is being questioned. I have three quick points here. One, the grace marks have been given according to a CLAT judgment in 2018, 2019. It was not arbitrary. That's the first thing. The The second thing is, many people are saying cancel the NEET exam, but then equal number of students will also say do not cancel Correct. the NEET exam, and Correct. it's a difficult road to walk for any government. Let's be fair there. So it's better we wait for the Supreme Court to help us decide which is the better path. Here, here to is the, That's the second thing. Okay. And uh, the yeah, please third third point, and I'll complete after that. Yeah, third point. Yes, and uh, here the third point is that uh, whatever situation everybody is saying that this comparison of marks between different exams, Anand, I want to say something which could be um, construed in a wrong way also by many people. But let me honestly tell you this: there are many smart students, there are many smart youngsters in this country who choose to study for one exam and choose not to put in so much effort for another. It's happened many times. There are students who cracked IIT but have gotten terrible marks in their Twelfth board exams, so we have to find a way which is fair because you cannot that, pressurize that, that's one where, student that's where, to that's get where the same number three, of four, marks four, in every single exam. Okay. And I'm saying it like a mother. No, no, no. I understand. Three, four, three. One of the points. The the fact is that uh, when this grace marking was supposed to be done, the NTA was not upfront with it. Before the declaration of the yeah. results, they should have announced and they should have put out a list saying what is the pattern of grace marking that they have done, what is the number of students or percentage of students who have been who have come under the ambit of grace marking, and which centers are affected. The NTA never came clean about it. It yeah. never did, and it should have done it before the announcement of the results. That's the first point. The secondly, the uh, in terms of centers and marking these centers, the NTA till date has not come out with the exact number of centers. It's based on the cases, and it's based on uh, coaching uh, and teachers and coaching centers at different places who have drawn out the anomalies, and we have come to eight centers. It could be 80 centers also. We do not know because the NTA still has not been transparent with the data. That's where the concern is. Government has taken responsibility. That's welcome, but this should have been done much earlier. We are actually 30 days behind schedule. That's what many are saying. 40 days behind schedule because result came on the fourth. The anomaly had been highlighted on the fourth of May itself. We are on the 21st of June. So that's where the concern is. We've got to move faster on this if we are going to be progressively working towards working towards a better system. I have to wind up. I thank you all for keeping this very very civil. Some of the aspects that stood out: immediate data analytics. isolating the uh, error centers which stand out compared to some of the others and then bringing down the number of students who could have come under the ambit and decide immediately what needs to be done with them maybe conduct a retest for them ahead of the counseling which can be pushed by about 10 days perhaps these are solutions we don't need to wait for the courts we just need to wait for the evidence get this evidence out and do it in a transparent manner people want transparency because that uh, underlines and perhaps uh, underscores trust and belief ladies and gentlemen thank you very very much we're going to take a very short break when we come back we are in conversation with mr ram madhav